Potatoes, the staple of American diets, are easy to grow but can take up lots of space. But memories of a meal of new potatoes, peas, and fresh salad is enough to at least plant a few. Unlike other vegetables, potatoes are not planted from seed but from pieces of potatoes called seed potatoes containing eyes or buds. Potatoes are best grown in full sun and in rich, well-drained soil which can be achieved by tilling organic compost, azomite for trace minerals and expanded shell into the existing soil. Raise the planting area as necessary to further ensure good drainage. We plant them in rows to achieve this. It is particularly important to provide excellent drainage in order to prevent rot from destroying your plants. Potato planting sites should be rotated on a three-year program. This means you need three suitable sites if you want to grow potatoes every year. Potatoes can be planted in early spring about one month before the last anticipated frost. Here in North Texas we plant in late January to the end of February. On average it takes about 10 weeks to grow golf ball sized potatoes. My biggest secret with potatoes is sulfur. Sulfur is a naturally de derived organic product which does three things. It is a fungicide, acid fertilizer, and insecticide. Let me explain this. First, it's a fungicide. Sulfur protects the cut potatoes from rot organisms in the early spring cool, moist soil. Two, it's an acid fertilizer. Potatoes grow best in slightly acidic conditions, 6 to 6.5 pH. Commercially growers like it even lower to prevent potato scab, a disease that leaves raised scabby marks on potato skins. But for the home gardener like me and you, that is impractical and if your potatoes develop scab, it is no big deal. Just peel the affected potatoes before cooking. Number three, it's an insecticide. Ever since I began using sulfur, I have never noticed any potato bugs on plants. So get some garden sulfur. It comes in four, five, or even 50 pound bags that are available in most lawn and garden centers or your farm supply store. Select the proper seed potatoes. Grocery stores are not appropriate for use in seed potatoes. Do not use them. They have often been sprayed with an anti-sprouting agent and even or organically grown and treated potatoes probably haven't had the proper dormancy period for the eyes to sprout correctly. Certified seed potatoes have been checked to make sure they're disease free and are ready for to sprout. Before planting, keep your seed potatoes in a lit area, but full sun isn't necessary and at room temperature for a week or two to cause more eyes to sprout from each potato. Afterwards, cut the potato into ice cube to golf ball sized chunks, each with two or three eyes on each potato chunk. And then dust the chunks with dusting sulfur, which I explained earlier, which will help prevent rot. Leave the cut pieces to dry two or three days to cause the cut surface to cut up, to crust up, and uh, seal. Dig a hole four to six inches deep and place a chunk every um, six to twelve inches apart and cover with soil. Making sure to place the seed potato in the hole cut side down with the eyes pointing up. Be patient as it takes a little while for the potatoes to come up. As the potato shoots come up from the ground to the height of say 8 inches tall, add soil around the stems leaving roughly 4 inches of top growth exposed. This helps the potatoes growing deep in the soil protect it from sunlight which can turn the tender new potatoes green and bitter. Keep the, plate, the potato plants well watered, but do not maintain a soggy bed. It, the potatoes don't grow well in a soggy soil. Don't forget to feed your plants. Potatoes need extra phosphate for root growth, and they do not like too much nitrogen, or you will get all plants and no potatoes. 
I always look for uh, organic fertilizers to use in my vegetable garden. If I was going to uh, fertilize with any synthetic fertilizers, you might as well buy your produce in the commercial grocery stores. Now it's time to harvest your potatoes. Dig potatoes on a dry day. Dig up gently, being careful not to puncture the, the tubers. The soil should not be compact, so digging will be easy. You will begin to harvest your potatoes two to three weeks after the plants have finished flowering. At this time, you will find only small baby potatoes if you were digging up the plant. Potatoes can be harvested any time after this by gently loosening the soil, reaching under the plant and removing the largest tubers, leaving the smaller ones to continue growing. If you want larger potatoes for storage, wait two to three weeks after the foliage has died back. The foliage will look brown and dead on the top. The potatoes will have developed a tougher skins by this time. Carefully begin digging a foot or so outside of the row or mound. Remove the potatoes as you find them. Dig them and let them dry. Do not wash them right after digging, which can easily damage the freshly dug potato skins. Don't wash them until right before you are ready to use them. Washing potatoes will shorten their storage if you do this after digging. Pick out any potatoes with rotten spots or that were damaged or cut during digging. The potatoes are then ready to store in a dark, dry, cool room. Do not store potatoes with apples as the ethylene gas will cause potatoes to spoil. So this is how we uh, grow our potatoes and we've had great success for many, many years. So I wish you happy growing and good luck on your potato growing expedition.